Hi there, today we're going to have a look at Hold My Hand by Jess Glynn. Now this song has four sections, it has a verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus and a bridge. So we're going to have, I'm going to play through those sections first before we start to learn it. So I'm going to put a beat on in the background as well for the, uh, for the performance. I'll take that off for the tutorial but if I put the beat on the, uh, the gaps will make a little bit more sense to you. Um, so here's the beat. Here's the verse part. Here we go. section. Um, I'm not going to go right the way through all of that again just because of that mistake so we'll plough on um, when we get to the tutorial I'll make sure that I get that right for you. Okay so the uh, the verse section starts on middle C right in the middle of your piano and if you look for the two black keys in the middle of your piano or keyboard or the keyboard though if it's middle C it'll be slightly to the left of the middle if you're on a five octave keyboard but on a full size piano in the middle two black keys C is to the left of those two black keys right there and we're going to use for this um, first part of the verse we're going to use just four notes but they're kind of spread out we're going to use this one C we're going to miss a key then use E we're going to miss another key and use G and then we're going to miss another two keys and use the C at the top so what I do is I spread my hand out and play the C with my thumb, the E with my second finger, the G with my third finger, and the top C with my fifth finger. Remember the fingers one, two, three, four, five, that really helps. And it goes like this. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 five, five. Or the, uh, the note names will be C, 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 E, 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 G, 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 C, C. And you do that four times round. And the only difference you make is that just before you play it for the, the fourth time, you put an extra C in. So instead of starting ba, 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 you start ba, 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 ba. Apart from that, it runs exactly the same. So that whole section nice and slowly. Um, we won't put the full two bars rest in between because you'll be waiting ages at this speed, but uh, just like this. Then there's two bars rest, and again. Then there's two bars rest, and again. And then there's two bars. 
bars rest and an extra note before you do the final one. And then another two bars rest. The next part of the verse, which is well, the second part of the verse, and it's in two parts, the next part starts on a black note. And it's the black note immediately below the second note we played. So we played E and it's E flat right here. Again, those two black keys in the middle of your piano, it's the right hand one of the two. It's that one there, E flat. I put my third finger on that and we're also going to use the D and the C below. There. And we're going to play E flat, D, C, C, D, C, E flat, D, C, D, C. Let's go through that again with the finger numbers. Three, two, one, one, two, one, three, two, one, two, one. And then to finish that um, that part, we go to the E, not the E flat, and play E, D, C, G, E, D, C. C and then it goes back to the E flat again so that's three two one five three two one one okay so that whole um, the first part of this this part of the um, the verse goes like this where the pre-chorus kicks in so instead of doing that da, 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 ending you just do a quick E D three two then the pre-chorus kicks in okay so now we'll go for the pre-chorus the pre-chorus picks up on the third beat of the bar and it starts on a G which was the highest note we played in the second half of the chorus this G here G is to the left of the middle of the three black notes the left of the middle of the three black notes there's G, and we're going to use, uh, for this section, mainly we're going to use G, A, C, D, and E. So what I've done is I've put my uh, hand on like this, so that G and A are covered by 1 and 2. Leave a gap for the B, we don't play the B, and then C, D, and E are covered with 3, 4, and 5. Shaped like that. And then those are pretty much the notes that you need for this section, for the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus goes... G, A, C, D, E, D. Same thing again with an extra G. G, G, A, C, D, E, D. Finger-wise, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. And then an extra one. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. And then it goes on, uh, similar to the bit you just played. C, C, sorry, beg your pardon, G, G, A, C, D, E, D, C, C, A, G, E, D, C, C, A, E, D. Do that again, so with numbers, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, three, two, one, five, four three three two five four and a little bit to finish on the same notes g g a c d e c c numbers that's one one two three four five three three so we'll go through the pre-chorus again for you Okay, now we're going to move on to the chorus. 
chorus has quite a lot of repeated notes and it's top C that it tends to get repeated. Remember we found middle C in the middle of the keyboard to the left of these two black keys. Top C is to the left of the next two black keys up here. Okay, and it's going to start with repeated C's. Uh, probably the best thing to do is to probably put a third finger, number three, on the C. And it goes like this. C, 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 C. C, A, C, D, C, A. C, 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 C. C, A, C, D, E. Okay, do that again with finger numbers. Your hand in this position with your middle finger number three on C. Three, 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 three. Three, one, three, four, three, one. Three, 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 three. Three, one, three, four, five. Three, 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 three. Three, one, three, four, three, one. Three, 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 three. Now we're going to stretch down into that previous position we had. One, one, two, three, four, five, four, like that. Okay, let's do that again with uh, the whole whole of the chorus. The song at this point repeats back to the verse and then you play the pre-chorus again and then you play the chorus again. At this time, instead of going straight back, you go through the bridge section. The bridge section starts on our old friend middle C and we're going to have our hand in that shape again with the G and the A under 1 and 2 and the C, D, E under 3, 4 and 5. So the hand's like that and it starts on the middle C with the third finger like this. C, E, D, C. G, G, A, C, D, E, D, C. Okay, finger numbers that is. Three, five, four, three. One, one, two, three, four, five, four, three. And then again we have G, G, A, C, D, E. G, G, A, C, D, E. G, G, A, C, D. Now on that third time of playing that pattern, you need to use a different fingering. So the first two times, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. And then the third time, one, one, two, one. Getting your hand into a new position. Two, five, three, two. So the last three notes that are G, E and D. Okay, so I'll just play the first um, first half of the bridge section for you again. Three on middle C. Took the thumb. Then the whole thing repeats again. So we're going to tuck in the thumb onto the E. E, G, A, C, D, C, D. And that's the end of the bridge section. So the numbers there are, um, we've just come up from... section at that point you go back to the pre-chorus and then through the chorus and that's the end of the song 
Okay, so uh, go back through these sections, go back to the performance one at the start as well and just keep working these through. I hope most of that's clear. I'll also put the, uh, the note names into the comments on this YouTube video so that you can follow the note names as well. Um, so enjoy that and uh, in the meantime I'll see you next time. Bye now.